An interesting capability of Door Pro CNC or the Cabinet Pro CNC option that includes Door Pro is to place a slightly oversized assembled five piece wooden door onto the CNC router and then trim and square that door while at the same time applying a specified detail around its edge. To do this, there are a number of preliminary setup steps that we must take. The first step is to access each of our material setups and assign a panel material to the very bottom part on our parts list that represents our door sizes. This panel material must be of the same name and thickness as the material that is assigned to our door styles and rails, the only difference being that the door styles and rails are being made of lumber while our door sizes part must be made from panel or sheet material. And we have slowed down our router for our door sizes part because our door will splinter if our router is running too quickly. Step two is to use a rectangle cut at our cutting and drilling definitions library where this cut should extend all the way around the outer edge of our doors where the tool being used is the tool we wish to trim the door to its final size as well as apply our edge detail to the outer edge of the door. It is usually sufficient to define but one machining operation as I have done here, but of course as many machining operations may be applied to this door as is required, perhaps one for the edge detail and another for trimming and squaring the door. We select our doors by selecting first part number 70 and then by selecting a particular door style or all door styles. The depth of cut needs to be large enough to ensure the full edge of the door will be trimmed, being confident that the program will never cut deeper than the thickness of the part plus the allowed depth into the spoil board. The reference points that we will use depend upon the diameter of the tool we are using as well as how much we are oversizing our door. Which brings us to our third step, which is to tell Cabinet Pro or Door Pro how much we wish to oversize our door, which is done at the Global Changes and Part Management screen. Select part number 70, Door Sizes, and place the total added length and width that should be added to any given door. Once, excuse me, one half of these numbers is the amount that should be trimmed back at the CNC setup screen of step two. Step four is to choose a cutlass report and select machining dimensions instead of finish dimensions which will activate the added widths and lengths we just entered. In addition, select the option to process a single part per sheet. When we run our report, we will see our individual door parts in the lumber report because our doors are being made out of wood. But we will also see the slightly oversized doors on the panel report. Notice the part name for these doors is the door style name as it exists in the door style library. When optimized, each oversized door will be optimized by itself so that when the CNC code is produced, the name of each CNC file will be the door style name followed by its dimensions so that the CNC file may be easily matched to the correct door. And when the CNC file is run for each door, a single rectangular cut will both trim the door to its final size and apply your edge detail simultaneously.